What's up guys? So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on my channel. It's gonna be a $70 giveaway, which is about enough to buy a video game. Uh, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and go follow me on Instagram at BrettBQB. Good luck, it'll be announced in a couple weeks. What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. So today we have kind of an interesting challenge I'm gonna be doing with the Golden State Warriors. So they have a lot of really, really good shooters on that team, but they got the two main ones from last year. I don't really wanna put Kevin Durant in this one because he is new. You got Klay Thompson and Steph Curry, both of them have a plus three point shooting and there's a lot of debate because clay thompson did win the three point contest and he did i i'll admit watching the three point contest i know that's not the best indication his release looked almost smoother it almost seemed too easy for him steph curry though he's obviously ridiculous one of the best players in the league like he's absolutely insane from beyond the arc he the, he's broken records uh so you can't go against that guy so this is the challenge that we're gonna be doing today and it's kind of an all around challenge. I've done full court challenges. I've done half court challenges, but this is like the ultimate shooting competition. So pretty much both of these guys are going to start right over here. And they're gonna start at the full court challenge. What they have to do is I'm gonna start a timer. They have to hit a full court shot, a half court shot and two threes. The time runs for the whole time that they go and whoever can complete all of them the fastest, we will say is the better shooter of Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. If you guys want to see me try somebody else with this, like maybe Kevin Durant and Ray, I don't know. Let me know in the comments who you guys want to see and comment down below right now before you even watch the video, who you think is going to win. Let's go jump right into this and I'll see you guys in the gameplay. Steph Curry is going to go first. I have a feeling this could be in like the three to four, maybe even five minutes, depending on how long it takes. We're going to start the clock right now and you guys know my rules for these. As long as I am behind the line, when I start to take the shot, that was a stupid one. As long as I'm behind the line, it doesn't really matter uh, where my feet drift to as long as I'm in the box as I shoot. But honestly, these two last year were, I watched a lot of basketball last year. They were so incredibly fun to watch. Like the Golden State Warriors, like say what you want about them and like people are like trashing them for what happened at the end. But like that was a crazy good team that whole year. They were very, very exciting to watch. And I don't, I don't love watching teams other than the Raptors. I'm a pretty big Raptors fan. I, I pretty much just like watching the Raptors. But like anytime Golden State was on, I'd stop and I'd watch those games because they were just a great team to watch. They played some, they played team basketball. I'm interested to see how the addition of Kevin Durant is going to affect things. I was a little bit surprised uh, adding another like big time score into that lineup. Like I feel like too many superstars can sometimes be a bad thing because you gotta think Kevin Durant, he's, he want, he's gonna be wanting to be scoring 20 plus points a game. So that's taking shots away from Curry. That's taking shots away from Thompson, uh, Green. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how that works out. And Curry's kind of choking right now. We're already a minute and 10 seconds in and he has yet to hit the full court shot. He's gotta hit it soon because you know Clay Thompson, he does not mess around. I pulled that one way to the right. That was a terrible shot. Okay, back up. Calm down, Steph Curry. That could be it, that could be it. Oh my gosh, just off the rim. Come on, Steph Curry. Is that one gonna be it? No, we're way above. So that's the thing. I feel like the half court, the two threes will be very, very easy. Uh, but these should, this one could take the brunt of the time. It's gonna be almost all about this. Uh, Cause the half court one won't take longer than hopefully like 30 seconds. But these shots take forever. There's another miss. Okay, gotta get behind the line. Relax, get a nice release. That was a terrible release. As soon as I say nice release, of course I completely screw it up. There we go, that's a pretty decent one. Come on, Steph Curry. You're not gonna let Clay Thompson beat you again like he did in the three point contest, are you? I don't think he's gonna let him beat him. Let's go. Is that gonna be close? Oh my, and I get rimmed out again. How close can these get? It's hard for me to believe that Shaquille O'Neal, when I did this with Shaq, he did this in 30 seconds. That's kind of crazy to think that Shaq did this in 30 seconds. It's all luck, obviously, uh, but it's just, it obviously shows that ratings don't matter that much for this kind of stuff. That one was super, super close. Come on, Steph. Oh, I, I really messed that up, but that was way too high. I gotta make sure I get that. Focus on getting that meter down there to be right on, and there's another miss. Let's go! Oh my, that was only like a few, that wasn't even like maybe 10 seconds after I said that. So at the time of 3.07, Steph Curry hits the half court shot and now, or the full court shot. Now I stop the clock and it's gonna start as soon as I'm about to shoot this one. Let's keep this going. Okay, okay let's go Steph, back up. Gotta shoot it like that and get almost perfect. I don't like these animations. I wish he would just shoot it like he shot a regular basketball and not run forward like that. 
uh, I feel like it'd be a lot easier to hit these shots because I've seen him I've watched those pregame things where he hits like 20 of these in a row uh, 20 might be a little bit of an exaggeration, but my ball boys they're struggling. They're all over the place right now Okay, give me the ball. Give me the ball. I'm tapping X right now. It's just taking them forever There we go. That's close. That's gonna be close at a rim. Oh back up back up step No, that pulled that one way too much to the left. We're over we're out closing in on four minutes right now Which is more than I expected this challenge to be I was expecting it to be in like the Three minute range like the two threes at the end. Oh that one. I'm too far in front. It wouldn't it wouldn't really matter anyways uh, The two threes are gonna take no time at all with these guys uh, But it's this half court and full court shot that are gonna just take forever And I just keep rimming. Oh come on Steph Curry. Just get lucky on one of these There's no way this should be taking me this long There is no way it should be taking me this long. I rimmed out again Okay, I'm, I'm tapping X waiting for the ball there is no balls to be seen here. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Okay, let's stop the clock. Okay, six minutes and 52 seconds. Uh, so let's get ready to start it here. Uh, one second. I just gotta, I just gotta figure this out. Okay, so 6:52. Sorry, I just had to like, I had to make sure the stopwatch goes correct. It actually went to 6:50, like five, but it was actually at 6:52 when he made the shot. And the other time, I didn't want to have it wasted. Uh, so 6:52. Let's start the clock. All he's got to do is make two three-point shots, and there's the one. One more. Come pass the ball. Can he end it right here? Can he end it? Let's go. Stop the clock. Okay, so there's seven more seconds tacked on. So 6.59 is Steph Curry's time. And what Klay Thompson's gotta do is beat that time in order to be named the greatest shooter of the Splash Brothers. It was, I can't believe it's 6.52 is the time. That's pretty quick uh, considering what they had to do. That half court shot was not easy by any means. Uh, let's go get Klay Thompson, see how long it takes him. Okay, so the clock starts for Klay Thompson right now. Let's go and let's see if he can beat that time of six or ten. He's a little bit of a bigger guy, so maybe he won't have as much trouble with the full and half court shots. I don't know. Uh, we will see. He's got to get on like, and if you want to win, you got to be on like the, the three minute pace uh, to get the full court shot. That's probably the average that's taken me with all these guys. And I feel like in this challenge, if you want to have any chance of beating Steph Curry with the time that he posted, you got to get through this pretty quick. Because that half court shot, that is no slouch either. Let's see, is that going to, oh my, I thought that was going to go in. I was about to absolutely flip out if that one went. I was like, Clay Thompson, you stud. I was like, there's no way you're going to win that easy. Because if he hits this shot in between like the first minute, there's no way he doesn't win. Let's see, Clay Thompson there. That one's, oh my gosh, let's go. 45 seconds for Clay Thompson. Okay, well actually 46 officially. So now we got to go to the half court mark, get the ball, set up, and start the timer again. We're at 46 seconds right now. Can he just blow Steph Curry out of the water because he could finish with a record deck. I'm gonna keep track of these times when we like do other people in this challenge like if I do like Kevin Durant and like Ray Allen and those guys and LeBron I'm gonna keep track of these times and see who gets the fastest uh, through the whole circuit but this mid this middle uh this oh my gosh I can't talk this half court shot for me and like when I was using Curry it seemed almost just as difficult as the full court shot I don't know why I definitely seemed difficult though and that one was super super close Can't be wasting this time dribbling the ball though Gotta get back and just line a good one up that missed by far And the ball boys they take it's kind of realistic because if the balls are flying everywhere They're not gonna have any to give me so it sometimes takes a little while for them uh, to get the basketballs back to me What time are we are right now? We're at 137 so sitting in pretty good shape but still gotta hit this sooner or later because those at the end like those two three-point shots Those are just the difference like if it was super close uh, those could potentially make a difference But they, they won't take long like for these two It will not take them long to hit two three-point shots It'll he'll probably be just like Steph Curry and hit it on his first two attempts uh, Let's go come on Clay Thompson. Oh, I thought that was it. That was perfectly lined up I thought we had it right there. I might start uh, doing like the run-up technique a little bit with him uh, just to see if it works better. Uh, that one doesn't count even if it goes in because I was past the line. Sorry about that. Okay, let's get back here, relax, and just start throwing them up again. And that is so close. How can I hit so many of those so incredibly close? Like, those are all bouncing right off the front of the rim. Come on, Clay. Come on, Clay. And that one's going to be a heartbreaker, too. What about this one? Nope, that's wide to the right. Get me the ball. 
Get me the ball. They're taking a little bit too long for my liking to get me the basketball right now. Because I am going for a pace. I'm trying to get that record-breaking pace. And let's go! 244. And all I got to do is hit two three-pointers. Let's start the clock right now. And all that's, that's honestly it. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, my gosh. How am I missing threes with these guys? Maybe I'm not used to his release at all. I don't think I've ever really used him. There's one. Let's go. Um, this is all wasted time, though. Someone give me a ball. There we go. Got to end this right on this shot. That should go. No, it's not going to. Somebody pass me the ball. Is that going to go in? No. And uh, This is where the epic choke is going to be. Oh, my gosh. I cannot hit it with his release. I have obviously not used enough Clay Thompson. I have obviously, there we go. A time of three minutes and 20 seconds. Clay Thompson is our champion. And according to this challenge, is the best shooter of the Splash Brothers. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please drop a like if you're good. Let's try and get a thousand likes for Kevin Durant versus LeBron James. I feel like that'll be a pretty exciting matchup. Also remember to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at BrettBQB for a chance at the giveaway. And I'll see you guys next time.